hey my friend well if you haven't been living under a rock you've heard me talk about this insane idea of having your own software business with pennies like less than 100 bucks where you can start your own software company with no technical knowledge you don't even have to be a program don't even know how to hire people don't have to know any of that because you can learn it all in just a few days and I actually am putting together a five-day training on that but today I want to talk to you about the process and give you an overview of it and let you know what this is kind of about how you could possibly benefit from it how you could possibly do it and hopefully you're gonna be amazed as I was even though I have some background I do have some technical knowledge but I don't have the time to do it so it's still something that I'm super excited about and I'm super excited about showing you teaching you how to do this so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So in the last little while I've been talking about starting your own software business your own multi-million software business with with as little as a hundred dollars to get started I've been talking about that and I don't know if you know this but me my background is I actually started in software a long long time ago as a developer but that takes so much work and it's it, you need to have an expertise you need to know how to program you need to know all these different things and I just recently found that there's a way to do it with no knowledge and no time you don't have time don't need to have time we're going to talk about that in just a second but first if you're listening to the audio make sure you go to cis325.jsgagnon.com to go listen uh, to go watch the video and read the blog post because I will be showing you how what I'm talking about go into a lot more of that and let you know I mean you know for me I started a software business in 1998 it was from experience I had I developed something it took me like a year to put it together started a company with somebody else um, invested like 50,000 of my own uh, time and money into it and and after a couple of years the company was worth you know like 20 million right we actually had 40 people no 20 people working for us um and we had we, we were growing we we're gonna go bigger but it just didn't work out the dot-com bust happened in 2000 no companies no VCs were investing anymore we lost the ability to to get financing because it's a big thing to grow a software company try to find customers trying to make sales have a team of developers doing it it's insane so I kind of gave that up right over the over the years it was like well you know what I'm just going to do things slowly I'm going to do things I'm a programmer I can do it but just a couple of weeks ago not even a month ago I discovered this amazing program that I want to teach you but before I teach you I want to go through it myself I want to learn everything I can I want to make sure that I can I can teach you exactly how to do it and uh let me just kind of share my screen show you where I'm at right now so in March 1st 2021 I will be doing this a chrome extension business training that you can start and you learn in five days how you can do it now how did and then what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about finding an amazing idea for a chrome extension we're going to talk about hiring a programmer to create it for you in as little as a hundred dollars uh we're going to uh, show you how to prepare all the tech stuff for free uh, we're going to show you how to publish your extension in the chrome store and we're also going to show you how to get sales and subscribers now this starts march 1st you can actually go and join this uh, right now uh right over here if you go to this link here free five day uh let's make that a little bit yeah so free five day dot chrome social pros dot com that's going to take you to a landing page where you have to put your email you can also just look for this uh this chrome extension business five day challenge group if you'd like uh to just go straight to the facebook group right to to learn about it but if you go to chrome social pros let's just open that up and show you what it looks like if you go to free five day dot free five day dot chrome socialpros.com it'll take you to this landing page which is basically a, a click a funnel page that just asks you for your name and email to get on the list so that you don't miss so we can communicate with you 
uh, to make sure that you're not missing out on any notifications or the the videos and everything but um yeah so that's that's what we're going to be doing um in the uh and March 1st right so March 1st okay so now let's get a little bit into what I'm talking about what am I talking about what do I mean by you know finding an amazing idea for a chrome extension you might be thinking what is a chrome extension anyways right so chrome extension is if you see on top of my browser right up here right there's all these there's these things here that are um extensions if I do a screenshot of that where's my uh, new screenshot and just kind of zoom into that right if you um if we do a screenshot of that I can actually oh I can't do that in here <laughs> I got to go in there uh, uh, uh what's going on my computer isn't letting me do what I want it's saying not responding oh there it is control a delete sorry I should have uh yeah I didn't really uh paste that in there and then let's make it zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm talking about okay so chrome extensions these little things up here on top of your browser you got all these different things that you can install you can get tons of them uh, and I'm just going to show you exactly uh, where you find them right so it's basically if you go to your browser right let's move this around put that back to the way I like it okay so when you go to your browser if you go in the three little dots on the top here you can actually go to more tools and then extensions or uh, you just click on this little um, this little icon here and then you go manage extensions right over here or you can go straight to chrome uh, extensions like that right you chrome colon slash slash extensions you can actually go straight to that if you'd like that'll take you to what you have on your computer installed you, you'll probably not find there's a bunch of them that you have that are default or or things that you you uh, accumulated over time but the idea is that you can you can create a really small extension like things like if I if I just go here I can go to the chrome store or you can search for a uh, chrome store let's just go chrome store chrome web store so this is the chrome web store so if I go here you can see all the different extensions that are available right so tag assistant blaze meter talent api tester cursor custom cursor vista bug scener a web clipper uh, this is where you would find like a, a a screenshot um something that does a screenshot or records your screen or um you know doing gifs uh translators thesaurus I mean there's so many things and you you can come up with an extension that for example would do a search online for your for a word that you mouse over for example right on any page right you could have it you could have an extension like that you could have an extension that downloads videos from different from the from whatever videos you're seeing on the screen you know sometimes videos you can't download them so there's plugins you can get that'll do that you can do an extension that'll go and grab comments from Facebook you can do an extension that's going to go and reply to people that comment on your posts through uh through messenger even though the so there's certain things that you know the platforms don't want you to automate but you can still get extensions that do that and as long as you don't behave like a robot in other words you do like 5,000 comments in a, in a minute well Facebook won't care if you're doing it you know 10 20 the same as if you were actually doing it you can do extensions that do that and that's what extensions are right they're little features they're little functions that do little things for you and the and the secret is to have a small extension now you might be thinking I don't have an idea I don't know what to what to what what extension I could possibly create well let me tell you you can do an extension that already exists because there's lots of versions of the same extension because the idea is that there's always going to be people out there they're going to be looking for an extension and they can find 50 of them like say for example I do a search for um the uh, the dictionary dictionary dick dick dictionary definition okay so if I do that I do that extension dictionary extension dictionary from google word guide google dictionary by google right voice tube dictionary uh, and then there's well that's and that's more more extensions then there's a rapid translator there's urban dictionary search there's easy urban dictionary so all these different dictionaries there's a whole bunch of them you you could still create your own dictionary for marketers for example right a dictionary that will show you the definition uh maybe in a way that 
that a marketer would want to use right so you can create something you don't you don't even have to know how to do that just you just have to have an idea oh that would be a cool idea right it's something that does something like that then you then we'll talk about how you get somebody to do it for you but you just need the idea something that you think would be cool or that you've heard other people ask about or that you've you've searched yourself for that you've even used yourself maybe you have your own extension that maybe you maybe there's some extensions that you've used that have ads on them right maybe you have extension that you've used that that um that uh, you you have a there's a feature in it that you find annoying or there's a there's it's overwhelming it's, it does too much stuff maybe you want you want an extension that just does one little thing of the of the extension you've you've gotten right so all those are ideas for extensions and the idea is well the the thing is you get your idea and that's how you get your idea there's other ways and in the training the five-day training I'm going to go through a lot more because there's places you can go search for you can get a lit you can get lists you can get um ideas from other people all these different things so that's what a chrome extension is all right so we're talking about find an amazing idea so we're going to do that in the first day we're going to actually talk about how you can find them we're going to go in more in depth in this and maybe we'll have conversations I can give you some ideas I can tell you um, some ideas that I got from others that are willing to share um, but the idea is you just have to have one idea one idea of a simple extension and that's really not that hard to find all right so that's the first thing the second thing is we're going to show you how to hire a program and to keep it for as little as 100 dollars. now there's there's lots of places online where you can actually search for somebody that will do the work for you but the thing you have to realize is that out there in the world right in the I mean the billions what five billion people in the on the planet earth right six billion or something I don't know maybe it's eight now I have no idea but there's there's more than a thousand people out there right <laughs> so the thing is that in lots of different countries people are willing to work for a lot less than in the U.S or Canada or the you know the big five right Australia United Kingdom uh, uh United so United States Canada United Kingdom New Zealand one two three New Zealand and United Kingdom so those five English speaking countries the big five they they they'll want you to they'll want to you to pay them like a hundred dollars an hour right to do to do this right and then it might take them you know 40 40 hours to do an extension for you right or or 20 if they're experienced right but still that's a lot of money right but what if I told you that you could actually find somebody out in Russia or in Africa or or in uh in the uh Philippines or in Mexico or Brazil other countries right where there's they, they have good internet they have they they have knowledge of programming they've learned things you can find those people out there and you can get them to build your extension for like a hundred dollars I actually found a programmer that's doing my extension for like a hundred bucks a hundred dollars for my first extension then I can scale that and sell it for 20 bucks a month 30 bucks a month 300 dollars a year whatever I choose right as uh as as an as an, ex as an extension that is a premium extension that people are willing to pay now you might be thinking well I don't know why would anybody pay for an extension right where would they pay for it if they can get it for free like lots of, like you know when we just went in the group the, the web store there right if I look at this dictionary idea thing right look at all these there's like this is google dictionary by google so this is actually a google dictionary so everybody's going to want to use the google dictionary right well don't kid yourself there's people out there that are willing to pay to not use the google dictionary because they they don't like google for example right there's that that segment of audience out there there's also people who when they use this they feel they're going to they're going to be all their data is going to be stored in google and then you know everything they do is in there they don't they just don't like this privacy thing right they don't like that so they're willing to pay 20 bucks a month for something that gives them functionality without the that fear without that thing and the other the other reason that they're willing to pay is because they'll they they feel they're going to get better support if they pay for it right which obviously you have to provide but we show you how to do all that using Facebook groups using 
automation using uh, chatbots all these different things to do the support for you and eventually hiring people I mean just think of it if you're making 30 dollars a month per extension and you got a hundred customers right that's thirty thousand dollars is it 30 30 dollars times 10 is 300 times 100 is 3000 so three thousand dollars a month you're making three thousand dollars a month just by having a hundred uh, people is that right 30 times 10 is 300 3, yeah <laughs> sorry so you're making three thousand a month well there's nothing that prevents you from paying somebody a couple hundred dollars a month to do your support your first level support there's people out there in India and in different countries that that are willing to do it for like you know five dollars an hour right and uh, supporting your people and, and anyways I'm just saying there's ways to if you're getting money you're going to be able to pay for support so don't worry about it right and the other thing the other the third reason why somebody would actually buy it is because they don't like free stuff they just feel better paying for something because that's their upbringing that's their education that's their way of being like Gucci buyers right somebody's going to buy brand names they're going to pay five times ten a hundred times the price of something they could got at Walmart or Target right because they want the brand name right so there's people out there that's just the nature so that's why you might think I can't uh, well, you know whatever extension nobody's going to buy it but you're wrong people will buy it so that's the but the thing is we're going to show you how to find those people how to get in front of those people right okay so the next thing is the tech stuff so oh right by the way how to hire a program let me just kind of give you a quick a quick uh heads up there's there's a site the site I used is called upwork so upwork.com now I already have so the way you do it is you post a job so you just post a job right let you just post a job right here as you can see I got other contracts I'm doing other things but my one extension was uh this the hundred dollar extension so you just post a job you go through this process you post it then afterwards if I look at my jobs that I posted already and I just look at the extension that I got this one here actually let's show you messages instead so uh do, 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 do oh no really what I should be showing yeah that's right I should be showing you the jobs themselves let's look at the jobs I'll go back to the jobs I'm a, I want to show you the proposal the way it works so you post the job and then you get proposals I look at this one and then you get proposals and then you choose from all the proposals you get who to work with right so this particular guy I worked with but let me just uh come on load up I'm just trying to show you so I'm building an extension to save Facebook comments to a Google sheet right um <coughs> so I'm not sure why it's not loading up I just wanted to show you the messages I, I guess you can't see the oh I guess you can't see the I want to see the job the original the job post no that's just all job posts so I can't actually see uh, maybe okay yeah let's look at this yeah proposal there you go so let's look at this one uh, CSS no Chrome extension okay this is one that I decided to drop so let's just look at this okay so when you post it when you post it by the way uh there's LinkedIn is not a good idea to do extension for they're they're cracking down a lot on these on these people but that's what I did I did a fixed price 200 these uh experiences and then I got invite I invited freelancers oh that's the thing and then I got proposals so out of the proposals uh I put these ones in here oh that's uh messaged okay I see the proposals here okay yeah that's what I wanted to say so you see how they they come back to you they say okay I'm gonna do it for 200 I'll do it for 200 I'll do it for 200 I'll do it for two 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 and two two they're all gonna do it for 200 right and then if I look at the ones that I uh archived those are ones that offered either more they said they'll do it for 2000 200 200 200 200 200 there was one that uh said he'd do it I guess they're not there anymore but anyways I just oh withdrawn okay that's withdrawn okay so doo -doo -doo, I guess uh, this is the thing so since these are jobs that are already done but anyways the point is that you can use something like this upwork to pro post a job and so we show you the whole process how to do it 
and how to get that uh, done that's part of how to hire a program for as little as 100 dollars right so how to prepare all the tech stuff for free so when I talk about and I, I might update that in the in the thing that doesn't sound right um because there is some things that you do have to pay for so I'm just wondering if that really is I guess there's lots of stuff you can do for free like your Facebook group you can do a um a capture page but you need you, well you can do that in WordPress in a WordPress site there's different things but I don't think that we should uh, do that I think I'll change that to something other than that but preparing the tech stuff you know setting up a landing page for your extension setting up the uh, upgrade option for you to be able to sell your extension right uh, deciding on your on your plan preparing the launch all those things you can do all that to get to having a successful extension having an extension is one thing right if you build it they will come that that's not true so you got to have you know your uh you got to be able to launch it you got to, and this is kind of what we talk about how to publish it to the chrome store so publishing to the chrome store so you want to have if I search for you know uh what's one that I that I know is a group convert is one of the ones that is uh oh right and you know what if you're this is where did I learn all this right I learned all this from Kim now you can certainly go look up Kim Dang uh Chrome Bus live is something that she does regular regularly she taught all this right so uh, select a winning chrome extension idea f with their idea system your repeatable outsourcing formula so she's teaching all that um and she does a five-day thing as well so you can go ahead and connect with her this is where I'm learning it and this is what I'm going to be teaching as well is kind of what she's her process that she's taught me with my twists obviously my some knowledge that I might have that uh you know that each person has different things that they've learned right so for me that's kind of what I'm doing I'm going to be doing that and uh what's this oh yes and I'm also going to be doing a master class afterwards if you're interested in that um it's not this is obviously but anyways yeah so I'm going to be doing that and like I said so we're going to talk also about how to get sales and subscribers how do you get sales to your extension right so my chrome extension which I'm still building when I click it it loads this up right here right the common grabber is what this is I guess I gotta do this and uh yeah so that's the that's that's my extension right now that it's working on it's not done yet but the idea would be the is that you can put uh Facebook comments in there right a Facebook post in there and it'll go and get comments from those posts and put them on your uh in the Google sheet or actually we're working on something else right now but but yeah so that's kind of what this whole thing is about so how to do it I mean obviously in in a few minutes in 30 minutes I have here we're at 22 minutes I can't teach you how to do all that right but I can tell you that if you uh let's take a look at the results the results that that uh, that Kim has gotten uh let's just go over here let's see is that the one if I go there no that's still the same thing um what is the all right this over here I believe is it is that it no that's going to my funnel why is it going to my funnel that's weird uh -huh. hmm. well she had a she had a whole thing about um all the uh, people all the people that had some uh, some results let me see if I can't uh, show it here oh maybe that's what it is actually I don't want to do that I do not want to do that I want to put it over here let's close that okay I want to go in here it is okay so that page here okay so I just want to show you what uh what other people have gotten out of this like this is totally insane and it's definitely realizable right I mean um what can you what can what are people getting out of this right so this this guy here right 
he pre-launched his extension he got three lifetime memberships sold in a week uh and then he's going to go his prices up and he's showing that he got this this income right and then there's this other one uh and then obviously this is all people talking about how Kim is doing it I I I don't have the results yet I'm working with a couple of people to get their extensions out and that's one of the things that I'll have these kinds of results too because it's it, it because it's that's just what it is you can get these results right I mean this guy here said he stayed up till 1 a.m to making 100 chrome plugin ideas I want to release today he posted my first job first chrome I invited 50 and beyond stoked the string so badass and so he's talking about how he did it how he got some results and this one here is uh 1204 weeks with my software right um what else are we seeing here we got this guy a uh, trial is total 1402 days right insane these kinds of results like 13 15 thousand dollars right here right now these are all people that went through Kim's training yes for sure and you can go ahead and find Kim online and go and join her training I don't know when she's doing it next but if you want to follow along me starting out and go you can go and get your hands on this free training that I'm doing March 1st you just join the group or go like I said to that link to um either go to the link here and uh, free five day chrome social pros.com which will take you like I said to this uh, where is it right over here no it's over here it's over here I don't know I don't have it anymore I guess I thought I all oh, right I didn't uh, yeah so it'll go if you go to the free five day oops I didn't free five day dot chrome social pros com right uh, it'll take you to this page which will show you the um extension the the subscription to get on the list you want the, you really want to go to this this is really what you want to do you want to get on that list um and like I said you can go straight to the group but they're all kind of connected so either one you go one or the other but get in that list get on that group go and join the the wait list to get on the five day challenge so that you can have your successful business your amazing chrome so chrome extension business super easy super simple it's insane and you can get you know thousands of dollars of income from that just with that and then just rinse and repeat do it again right do another extension do another extension and like as like this other guy you saw right he had a hundred ideas for chrome extensions you can do the same just start with one start with one idea and then you can have your own business all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions of course you can always reach out comment below let me know that let me know if you have questions and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time